Hey there, welcome to you in my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to leverage browser caching on your website. So, if you facing browser caching issue in your website when you work on your Shopify admin panel or your WordPress website admin panel, even if you are working on the theme development or theme customization or theme setup work on your website but you don't see the update result of your changing that you wanted to show on the live on the browser then you can continue this video this tutorial will be helpful for you because i am going to share very easy step that will work on any type of website especially for my shopify user or my wordpress users because when we work on the Shopify theme development or WordPress theme development, theme customization or set up our store from the backend, but after save the changes, if you visit our home page or our pages to check the result, we don't get the expected result and we see that previous skin that was before we changing our settings or setups or coding. That's why we need to leverage browser caching okay so first i'm going to show you how we can draw this in the shopify website then i will show you in the wordpress website okay so now i'm going to my shopify admin panel Here is my Shopify admin panel and I am going to click on the online store. Then going to click on the action button and select edit code. Open layout folder and open the theme.liquid file. And here is the theme.liquid file. Now I am going to add my code just simple code okay so let me do this So here is the code that we actually need to add to levering browser caching. So now I am going to click on the save button. Okay, we have done in the Shopify website and now I am going to show you in the WordPress website. Okay, so to do this first I am going to my WordPress admin panel. Here is my WordPress admin panel and I am going to click on the appearance and then click on the theme file editor. Then I am going to open the header.php file from the right side file section or file list. So click on this file header.php and as previous I am going to copy this code as i want to make this tutorial so easy and fast so copy this code and paste it right here then click on the update file we have done so this is the easy step to add this uh levering browser caching on your shopify or wordpress website and if you want to do this in, in other website that build with using others platform or by others programming language then you have to just add your code this code in the head right here in the head and a little bit down after meta name or right here okay so thank you for your time to watch this video if you think this video is helpful then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye